Welcome to the Sniper's Hide Bullet Point. In this episode, I want to talk about sight height or bore height. That's asking you for the value from the center of your scope's main tube to the center of your bore. And you need that for your ballistic calculators out there because that's going to tell the ballistic calculator what the offset is. So a lot of questions come up about measuring that. And I'm going to show you it's actually fairly simple. Uh, right off the bat, you have a gas port on most of your actions there. You can use that gas port. I have a tape measure here, and if we go from the center to center, we have two and five eighths of an inch, and that'll work out great. Brings us right in the middle of the action, right in the middle of the bore, and nothing but a tape measure. But still, the question comes up, and I've answered it three times this week alone, is what about the 20 MOA or more rail that we're using? Do we measure the back where the rail is taller or the front where the rail is shorter? Well, I brought a 20 MOA rail with me and I'm going to show you the difference using a set of calipers. So here we have a 20 MOA rail. And if I put the calipers on it, in the back here, I have 0.46 in the front I have 0.43 so that's 30 thousandths of an inch difference between the front and the back of this Murphy 20 MOA rail that 30 thousandths of an inch is not gonna matter it's such a small number it's not gonna factor into our calculation as I said you can round the figure to about an eighth of an inch if you want to get down to a sixteenth of an inch, no problem, go ahead. It really won't start moving the number until you get up between an eighth and a quarter. But that's your 20 MOA rail, and the distance and difference between the front and the back is not really that big. It's amazing that if we put that 30 thousandths of an inch difference in the back here, that's what gives us our 20 MOA downrange. But it's not a factor in our sight height. So you can ignore that value. There you go. Just take your tape measure, throw it up, center it right there. Two and five eighths inch, no problem. Put that in your ballistic computer. If you have any bullet point questions, send them in. Uh, we're continuing to work on reviews. So if there's a product out there you want us to take a look at, uh, send us a note and, and we'll see about getting our hands on it.